Welcome back everyone. I've got one more plaster and last ceiling to remove before I can start adding new wood to this main level. This ceiling's coming out because I'm now widening the stairs to 42 inches and removing the bearing wall between the living room and the dining room. Okay. I just had to add a little dramatic effect for something as boring as removing plaster. The demo on the ceiling would not be all that bad, but like I said in the last video, AEOA came in and filled every little crevice with cellulose insulation, and the dust from it was always in your eyes. Speaking of cellulose, those are the bags that are going to go back in the attic area. And the walls will have to all be done in bad insulation or fiberglass. Plenty more to put in. Now that all the plaster is on the floor, it's time to shovel it out. There's an awful lot of labor that always goes into the demos on these plaster and last remodel jobs. You definitely have to love dump trailers. And like magic, it's all down. Hey now guys, watch your language so I don't have to edit my video too much. Oh. I'm just building temporary walls under the floor joists to keep them in place. While I cut out the bearing sections of the wall to set a header in the ceiling so we have a clear span in the powder room. There's an awful lot of reciprocating saw work that goes into these demolition jobs. This is the section where the header will slide up with any luck and the cut floor joist will be joist hanger to the header. Then I'll add a double cripple under the sections of the wall supporting the header giving it at least a three inch bearing point. I will then add blocking under the cripples to the basement support beam, which in this case acts as the foundation. Notice the double stud or cripples at the ends of the header and also the joist hangers attached to both the header and the floor joist. And we're back this morning. With any luck this will be the last day of any more demo. We're going to try to leave a couple of those walls and they can just patch them. Homeowner's request. But we can probably start rebuilding now. I'll get this bathroom in today maybe. Get that other beam up there.
Now we gotta mark out the floor and the cut areas upstairs. Because I think on Monday, provided weather holds, we'll start removing the roof on this thing. This powder room, or half bath that I am currently building, will house a toilet, a small vanity, and a stackable washer and dryer, so that the new owners will have a main floor laundry area. I'm framing this balloon style because the floors are uneven, and no two studs are the same length. So I marked out my floor, nailed on a bottom plate, used a laser plumb to find the ends and sides of the double top plates, nailed them up. You can also use a straight stud and a level to plumb the top plates. I then marked my stud centers and measure the stud individually. Leaving them a bit long helps hold them in place and support the upper floor. If you notice, the one wall is a two by six wall. It's what we call a plumbing wall. The plumber will run his toilet vent pipe up and out the roof. So a two by four wall is a little too narrow for a three inch PVC pipe. The piece I'm adding currently is just for backer for the sheetrock. It's nice to have them in before you start sheeting. I'm putting a 45 degree corner where the door goes to the bathroom to help keep the flow of travel out of the kitchen area. It's not the best location for a bathroom, but there's nowhere else really to put one. I'll then add a closet, and although it's a smaller bedroom, it's still about 120 square feet. Okay, on to the arch removal. We first build our temporary walls once again. And we mark out our floor joists where we got to cut them back, keeping in mind that this is a four ply header engineered by Kimmela Truss. It's a four ply header due to the fact that it's only seven and a quarter inch in height. There's no real load on the second floor, 
So the temp walls are just there to prevent sagging and allow me to stick the header in easier. Did I mention there's a lot of reciprocating saw work on these demo jobs? I'm putting the cripples in now to support the header when it goes in. hope everyone enjoyed this video. If so, hit the like button. Go ahead and comment. Share if you will. And subscribe please. It really does help the incentive to make them. And as always, thanks for watching.